The Holy Trinity, Trisakti, is a representation of this power in its three orientations, Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the preserver, and Siva, the destroyer. Beneath this supreme trinity is an extensive hierarchy of lesser deities representing every aspect of nature. The universe itself is split into three levels, the dominion of the gods, the dwelling place of humankind, and the underworld of evil spirits and demons, Bur, Pua, and Swa. The philosophy which gives order to all things is a reflection of a divine order. The macrocosmos, or Buana Agung, is reflected within the microcosmos, the Buana Ali, and never can one be separated from the other. It is this replication of the divine order in all physical aspects relating to space and orientations that leads to one most important thing. Balance, the ultimate goal of Balinese Hinduism. Besides the major communal offerings associated with a particular ritual, each family brings its own large and colorful offering to a temple festival. The families also stay together in the processions and later on in the temple. Here you can see me with my mother walking. It's a spectacular sight, seeing all the women of a neighborhood carrying these towering offerings in procession to a temple. The Barang and Aranda figures, which were put into specifically built homes the previous day, are now being taken out to be a vital part of the ceremonies and the procession later on. During the early afternoon, the worshippers board rented buses, open trucks and private vans to embark on a journey to the beaches of Sukhavati to perform the spiritual cleansing called Melasti. In Balinese Hinduism, the spirits residing in the Pura Dalem are manifested in a number of realizations as either Rangda or a number of different Barang. These sacred temple masks are powerful protectors of the temple and village. The Barang, mostly a realization of Siva, is a gentle, clumsy creature with a leonine face. The costume is richly ornamented with golden mirrors and painted leather reflecting the light as the creature moves in its comical, animal-like, shambling gait. Rangda, the symbolic realization of Devi Durga, wife of Siva, is usually portrayed with a scary face an evil witch with straggly white hair. In every temple ceremony, be it inside the Pura Dalem or even in other temples, Barang and Arangda often take center stage and serve to fill the ceremony with life and meaning. Many interesting stories are associated with Pura Goa and its most famous inhabitant. According to one popular story, the dragon Basuki rests peacefully in front of his cave. A local gambling man, Idamanuk Ankaran, on a desperate search for betting money, approaches and steals a large pearl embedded in the tail of the dragon. Idamunuk runs into the forest trying to hide in an unsuccessful attempt to escape the wrath of Basuki who immediately notices the loss of this most prized jewel. Basuki follows the footprints of the thief, and by licking one of the footprints, he casts a deadly spell on Idamunuk, who soon after catches fire and burns to death. 
Idamanuk's grief-stricken father, Empusiri Mantra, sincerely apologizes to the dragon and asks for his forgiveness. He also begs the dragon to return his son back into the world of the living. In return, he promises to forever serve him at the Basaki temple. His wish is granted, and by the magic powers of Nagabasuki, Idamanuk returns, cleansed from all evil, realizing his great good fortune. Basaki Temple is a very holy and beautiful place. A place of unity between Hindu and Buddhist beliefs in harmonious coexistence with ancestral worship and diverse traditions. For me, it is always peaceful. It is a spiritual place where all personal differences or cultural separations have no influence.